Hi, this is on Imagination, and we are going to be talking about the wolf in sheep's clothing fallacy. This is one of those things where I finally found the words and I went, there it is, and we're all going to just take a step back and we're going to talk about this. We've all had that person in our lives who is a bully, they're hostile, they're aggressive, they're an asshole. You know they're an asshole. And when you call it out, they immediately say, no, I'm not. I'm competitive. No, I'm not. I love debate. No, I'm not. You're, and they gaslight you. And you're sitting here going, is that, is, is that competition? It is, it is, is that, is it me? Okay, maybe I'm being, maybe that is competition. So then you start to get a real nasty taste in your mouth with competition. Or you start to think, well, I, if, that, if that's debate, then I don't want anything to do with debate. So then later, you're having a conversation with someone and you're talking to them and they're like, you know, we're, we're just having a debate. No, 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 we're, we're not having a debate. And they're looking at you like, yeah, we're having a debate. No, 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 we're not. Because I've had debates and I felt like I was going to get my teeth bashed in. Like, this is not a debate. This is friendly. And this is what I refer to as the wolf in sheep's clothing fallacy. This is that bullshit that every narcissist does to us that we can't figure out or identify. So this is what this is. The wolf in sheep's clothing fallacy is the gaslighted bullshit that narcissists use to hide their abuse behind common words. So they're being an asshole. Bottom line, they're being aggressive, they're being inappropriate, and they're being a fucking asshole. And when you call them out, they gaslight you and lie, and they say, oh, no, 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 I'm competitive. I I'm just real passionate. Oh, that one, that one I've gotten. I'm just real passionate. They're ready to punch you in the face, but they're real passionate. And you walk away questioning your own ability to define basic words. No, no, this is what you need to do. What they're really doing is the wolf in sheep's clothing fallacy. They're pretending to be a sheep while they rip your throat out. And then when you call them out on it, they tell you that they're a sheep and it's, it's a smoke and mirror show and it's bullshit. And then you walk away confused. I am totally doing this if you want to be my guest. But it's, it's like I finally have the ability to say to them, no, you're not being A, B, C. You're a fucking asshole and you're using wolf in sheep's clothing. You're full of bullshit. And, and that's it right there is it's the wolf in sheep's clothing fallacy. And it's not for them. They're, they're going to deny it. You, who gives a fuck? Like, let them deny it. They're delusional. Really, they truly are. They have to have their delusion to maintain their assholeness because then they'd have to confront it. But for you, it gives you a logical drop in your hat. Here's a massive logical if-then clause. If they act like an asshole and they claim that it's justified, no, wolf in sheep's clothing fallacy. They're being an asshole and they're disguising their abuse and hostility and aggression with their bullshit. So... For me, I'm one of those persons that if there's a fallacy like that and all I need is the, the name of the fallacy or the if-then clause, it, it immediately corrects it in my brain. So this is my gift to you, if you wish to have it, is the wolf and sheep's clothing fallacy. And it's when you see aggression, and here's the formula, when you see aggression and you confront them about their aggression and they make it all pretty and colorful with sheep's clothing. and it doesn't negate the fact that they're still acting like an asshole. Because at the end of the day, an asshole is an asshole. A bully and an abuser is a bully and an abuser. And it does not come in any kind of excuse. It does not come in any different colors. There is no the wide spectrum of hostility, aggression, and abuse. There is none of this. Abuse is abuse. Aggression and hostility are aggression and hostility. And being an asshole is being an asshole. And if they tell you otherwise, they're lying to you. And it's not acceptable. And you have called them out on it. And instead of being responsible and accountable, 
because they're an asshole, they're going to deny it and flaunt their sheep's clothing. And it's a moment where you can just slap the clothing. Don't give me that bullshit. I can see a wolf when I'm looking at a wolf. I am totally going to use that when next it happens to me. I feel so empowered right now. That is it exactly, is you're looking at a wolf and you're going, oh my God, it's a wolf. And the wolf is going, no, 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 it's a sheep. Don't give me that bullshit. I know a wolf when I see one and you're acting like a fucking wolf. Grow the fuck up and knock it off. And it, it's, it's, and I'll tell you that right there, <laughs> they will most likely back down. They will most likely back down. Most people will just, it, 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 they're so not used to it. So it's really interesting. Be careful. I got to put this disclaimer in here. Be careful. Use your judgment. Not all people will respond properly to that. Some people will become more aggressive. If you are dealing with a stage three or a stage four narcissist, don't do that to them. It's dangerous in some cases. Get the fuck away. Just saying, just saying. But if it's like a lower level narcissist, you can get away with that. Use your gut. Use your judgment. I am not liable for anything that may or may not happen to you. Use your judgment. You are responsible for your actions. I recommend just walking away from narcissists. But I know that I've been in a position where I am safe enough to say to them, back the fuck off. You're acting like a wolf. You are a wolf if you're acting like a wolf. I'm not going to sit there and get like flaunted by your, your bullshit with sheep's clothing. So the, the, the wolves in sheep's clothing fallacy, and again, I'm going to have the formula written so you can look at it. It is aggression, bully, asshole, hostility, plus basically it's, it's devaluing. It's, um, it's downplaying, it's downsizing. That's what it is. I'm going to write this down because that's exactly what it is. It is uh, here. I'll, I'll write it over here. La la la. I'll get my whiteboard out here. Yeah. I love words. When that, when, when the words finally come to me, I'm like, yes, it's the words. These are the words. All right. So it is bully, aggression, hostility, anger, plus downsizing. Now, let's say downplaying, downplaying or dismissive justifying their abuse. I did not use the word abuse. That's not okay. I need to say specifically because this is abuse. Call it duck a duck. Abuse, bully, aggression, hostility, anger, plus downplaying, dismissive, justifying their abuse equals wolf in sheep's clothing fallacy. And I had, I had one person I went into, I actually had him on my podcast. And he was so fucking abusive that I actually had people commenting about how abusive he was to me. And after this conversation with him, I asked him, is that how you normally talk to people? And his response to me was, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I debate. You're an asshole. That's not a debate. You're a fucking asshole. Because I've had debates with people where it's a conversation. A real debate is actually a calm conversation. That's a real debate. And a lot of people don't realize that because other people weaponize conversation to justify their abuse and hostility. So look for it. Be aware of it. Protect yourself. Set boundaries. Use discernment. Thank you so much. And may the kindest of words always find you.